During the funeral mass, Luke Kelly's fellow Dubliners played many of the airs he had made his own. The large church could not accommodate everyone who came to pay their last respects, and many followed the mass from outside. Luke Kelly's family and friends were joined by scores of people from the world of theatre, television, radio, sport, and of course music. Friends like Phil Coulter and Fimbar Fury. The prayers of the faithful were led by, among others, Ronnie Drew, Noel Pearson and Jim McCann. The chief concelebrant of the Mass was Father Michael Cleary. The concelebrants included Father Brian Darcy, Father Tom Stack, Father Don Breen, Father Joe Coulter and Father Joe O'Mahony. Among those who attended both the church and Glasnevin Cemetery where Luke Kelly was buried were politicians from all the parties. But it was the people of Dublin, the town he loved so well, who came literally in their thousands to say goodbye to one of their own. Everybody had to be a bit of a rebel, and, but he was a nice, I mean, he wasn't a harmful rebel. Uh, you know, he, he rebelled against hypocrisy and any kind of cant and hypocrisy, and he, I think he, he lived, he had very strong beliefs about things, and I think he practiced what he preached, and he did an awful lot. I mean, his image of being the hard case and so on, but he had, uh, he had a very warm heart, he did an awful lot of things for people, helped out a lot of people that nobody ever heard about. Well, I remember him as one of the greatest singers of all time in that particular idiom, you know, in the folk idiom. I think he was the best singer around. And I remember him in a lot of ways. Uh, I remember him roaring and I also remember him being very quiet and, and uh, we'll miss him. He was a, a rough sort of man. But um, we were in a pub. We won't name the pub. I don't suppose it's allowed no, on the television. Name. Well, it was in the Bailey, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and he was singing in his own peculiar manner, and so was I in my own peculiar manner. And he said, I've got a song for you. <laughs> and he said, you should sing Raglan Road. And I'm, I'm very proud of the fact that I got the imprimatur, as it were, from the man. And you did sing it, himself. and you will now. Well, I'd like to sing it now, yeah. Why not? Luke Kelly okay. with Al O'Donnell. Okay. On Raglan Road Of an autumn day I saw her first And knew That her dark hair would weave a snare that I might one day rule. I saw the danger and I passed along the enchanted way. And I said, let grief be a fallen leaf at the dawning of the day. On Grafton Street in November, we tripped lightly. Of a deep ravine where can be seen the worth 
of passion's pledge The Queen of Hearts still making tarts And I'm not making hay Oh, I loved too much And by such, by such is happiness thrown away. I gave her gifts of the mind. I gave her the secret sign that's known to the artists who have known. The true gods of sound and the stone And word and tint without stint I gave her poems to say With her own name there And her own dark hair like clouds over fields of May On a quiet street Where old ghosts meet I see her walking now Away from me so My reason must allow That I had loved not as I should A creature made of clay When the angel moves The clay he'd lose his wings at the dawn of 